last season we uh, we had 14 players that come out. Uh, we had some injuries right before the season, and then uh, the second game when we played against Old AZ, uh, we had two kids that we uh, we lost to injuries, and having just 11 players in the field uh, is really not a safe environment for our players to be in. Uh, we brought the seniors in uh, to Mr. Bates' office because uh, it was going to affect them the most because that was. They did not know they played their last game that Friday. And we came in on that next Monday and uh, told the players, um, because of our, our love for them and our, our concern for their safety, it was best to cancel the season. And not to see them on the field and not to have them at practice and the camaraderie and the brotherhood and the love family that we have, uh, I knew it was going to affect me pretty good. When the season was actually like publicized that we were actually canceling the season, it really was heartbroken to everyone inside our room and everyone that was on the team. When they, when they told us the season was going to be canceled, everybody walked in and had a real down energy. And you could only feel for the seniors. Because after that, they didn't have a football experience. As a junior myself, I only wanted to do, do better. To, to show to the upperclassmen that I, I could fill their shoes. When, when we canceled the season, uh, the media you know, came out. Uh, we had Fox News call. Uh, I think CNN called. I think our, our story even made the Washington Post. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but it did. It made the Washington Post, and a lot of media came out. And, and, and this was off camera, so it wasn't on camera, so you couldn't go back and look at it. But they'd always say, "Why would you? Why would you cancel? You know, high school football in Texas. You know, in football, Texas is big." And I said, "Well, ma'am, or sir, whoever the case may be," I said, "You know, football might be big in Texas, but our love for our kids is bigger." With that. I felt bad. It just tore me apart. Not just for my aspect, but for my seniors' aspect that they won't play. Everything that you, you know, the past six years that you've lived for and look forward to, you gave up one month of summer to work. You um, were constantly in the heat, shoulder pads, helmet on, running. It uh, To lose all that and not be ready to lose it, to think you have six more games or so in you, and then just lose it like that, it's, uh, it was definitely hard. And it was for the better. I constantly had to beat that through my head to know that it, it was for the better. Safety reasons, you know, only 12 people, only one person able to come in and give the other person a relief. Well, DeAndre Hopkins, who's an uh, uh, all-pro wide receiver, tweeted the school and then invited the coaches and the seniors up, up to Houston, which was, which was huge. And in football, uh, not only seniors, but football is all about making memories. And I know the decision we made to cancel the season, uh, these these seniors especially wouldn't be able to, to uh, gather any memories of their, of their season. And, and having the Houston Texans invite us uh, to their house, to their home, uh, uh, what a memory uh, for seniors to have. There's probably not a whole lot of seniors in the state of Texas that can say, my senior year I spent with the Houston Texans on the weekend. I was very excited, you know, that, that's a huge thing, you know, a NFL football team offering us to come and visit their place and do everything that they wanted us to do with them. best part of being on the football team was definitely the, the brotherhood in between you and the guy next to you. Um, if you did your job, he did his job, there was this big goal that y'all were trying to get. So brotherhood was in love. It was definitely a big thing. My team is like a brotherhood. It's like my family, my blood. I will go to war. I will go back for my teammates. What keeps me moving in the field is just to keep inspiring my teammates to keep pushing throughout the game. Even in our toughest moments, just keep pushing and get through it. First thing we do, we, uh, we always say that we're a family. That's number one. My motivation would be just the mentality football gives off. It's like everybody really wants to work to be great. Well, Coach Tibb is actually a very great aspect that we have towards this football program. He's very loving, comparing and compassionate to all his players. We can cheat us just like we're his own family. And I love the sense that he has around us that he uplifts us in our toughest moments and he also corrects us in our simple mistakes or things that we have on the field, but he's always an encouraging person. Tim was a great coach. He was a very big father figure in my life. He um, 
he definitely taught me a lot and it was more than just football that I learned with him. It was life and everything else with it. So I really do love Tip. He was a big part of my life. I asked Tip, I was like, what do you think of me? And he said, I think you'll do great.